This segment is about two men and one motion picture. The two men are T.E. Lawrence and Laurel Thomas, and the movie is Lawrence of Arabia. Now, first off, I'm a fan of the Arabian Desert. It's so different from what I'm accustomed to here in North Alabama, USA, and maybe that's why, to some extent, I still enjoy the movie Lawrence of Arabia. The movie simply has some breathtaking cinematography. I mean, the movie scenery is spectacular, and what you see on the screen or your TV is real, all before CGI. However, and this is a big however, one needs a little historical knowledge of the period the movie is portraying to understand what is taking place. Lawrence of Arabia is like uh, Dr. Zhivago, even to some extent, The Sound of Music. You have to have a little historical knowledge to appreciate what's taking place. Otherwise, these movies will become tedious and frustrating to watch. And I'll be honest with you, the first time I saw Lawrence of Arabia as a kid, it, it made no sense to me either. And that's because I didn't understand the history of the period when T.E. Lawrence was, you know, doing his thing. Now let's fast forward a few years after seeing the movie the first time when I was a kid, like I said. I suppose I was maybe late teens when I read the autobiography of Laurel Thomas. And within the pages, he wrote a good deal about this Englishman, T.E. Lawrence, a.k.a. Lawrence of Arabia. So let me tell you a little bit about Laurel Thomas. Uh, Laurel Thomas was an explorer. He was a public lecturer of his many travels. He was a lover of aviation. He was a newspaper journalist and radio newscaster, becoming actually famous before Edward R. Murrow, a person you may have heard about. Laurel Thomas covered the major news stories throughout a good part of the 20th century. It was actually, and get this, it was actually Laurel Thomas who introduced T.E. Lawrence and the man who became Lawrence of Arabia to the world. Thomas met T.E. Lawrence on one of his trips to the Middle East. He had heard about this Englishman who lived among the Arab nomads to become a sort of leader to them. And Thomas was intrigued how Lawrence, a fair-skinned, blue-eyed Englishman, of all things, speaking Arabic, had won over many of the nomadic Arabs as they struggled to remove the Ottoman Turks from their land. Thomas, being a reporter, immediately saw a human interest story where he could write about T.E. Lawrence as he traveled in the Arabian desert helping the nomads plan strategies to oust the Ottoman Turks. Now this fact is important. England was an adversary of the Turks. And remember, Lawrence is an Englishman. So it was logical that Lawrence would lend support to the Arab cause to rid the Turks from Arabia. Again, the English and the Turks were adversaries. Just keep remembering this as you watch the movie and it begins to all make sense. So here's the plot again. The plot centers on three main players. England, the Ottoman Empire, the Turks, and the nomadic Arabs. Lawrence becomes involved with the Arab Revolt. Now, the Arab Revolt is the historical reference of the struggle the Arabs and the Arab rulers and nomads had in attempting to remove the Ottoman Turks from what is today Saudi Arabia. So here you have it. The simple plot of the movie Lawrence of Arabia and how the nomads are attempting to overthrow the occupying Turks from Arabia. Let me just add, though, as a side, it should be mentioned 
It's debatable today how involved T.E. Lawrence was in the actual planning of the guerrilla combat when the Arab Revolt took place. The film really plays up Lawrence's uh, contribution in the Arab Revolt. But then again, this is Hollywood. It's a Hollywood movie. But one thing is undeniable. T.E. Lawrence was brought into the public consciousness by journalist and adventurer Laurel Thomas. So to wrap this up, to understand Lawrence of Arabia, brush up on the history of the period this movie is referencing. This way you will be able to understand and appreciate this movie masterpiece. That's it for today. AI4QT73.